All right, before we go on any further, we're getting some breaking news. As the events unfolded in Bangladesh, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi held a high-level meeting with the Cabinet Committee on Security. They've discussed the situation in Dhaka. We're also getting reports that amid the unrest, some households with Hindu families were attacked. For more on this, my colleague Siddhant Sibal joins us on the broadcast with more information on this. Siddhant, thank you so much for joining us. What is the latest on this? From what we do know, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been briefed on the entire situation in Bangladesh. What can you tell us? Well, if, if the Cabinet Committee on Security meets, it means something of a big development. And uh, last time I remember when it comes to a regional development and a CCS meeting, it was when the fall of Kabul took place, the Taliban takeover. Now, essentially, India has a lot of stakes in Bangladesh, whether it's people-to-people -people relationship, whether it is uh, the connectivity, whether it is um, the relationship going in a very positive direction. That right now, tonight, here in Delhi, looks in a bleak position. Now, essentially, when it comes to uh, the situation, violence have been reported across the country. We are witnessing heartbreaking visuals of houses being burnt. In fact, statues of uh, Bangabandhu, Sheikh Mujibur Iman, being uh, also vandalized. Now, essentially, there are reports of attacks on the houses of minorities, as Hindu minorities, and this is, of course, uh, a concerning situation for India. Uh, all in all, India will be keeping a close eye. We know that Indian External Affairs Minister might address the Indian Parliament tomorrow on uh, the situation in Bangladesh. Right. We also know Sheikh Hasina is here in India. She is, uh, her, her plane landed at the Hindan airport. Um, and uh, uh, we know the NSA also met uh, uh, her. So essentially, India is keeping the tab on. And we know that uh, the instability in Bangladesh has a wider repercussion. Already Myanmar has been going through a period of uh, extended instability. And now with Bangladesh uh, going north of southwards, it looks like there will be more concern for India's eastern states. Absolutely, Sadhana. Just for more clarity on this, we've seen the pandemonium that unfolded on the streets of Bangladesh today. As you mentioned, this is an important development for India as well. And what we're hearing about the reports of households with Hindu families being attacked, is there any clarity on that and what plans there are? Well, what I can inform is that there has been violence and the violence uh, has seen targets uh, being minorities as well, especially Hindus in Bangladesh. So this is something that we'll get to know more uh, very soon. But uh, it looks like currently uh, the situation is not stable. Uh, there is, of course, an information blockage as well. Uh, we are also witnessing a uh, uh, lot of video videos coming on social media on the violence, especially attached on the media as well. So it's a total anarchy in the country. We really do not know who is governing Bangladesh tonight. And this is negative news for the Indians in Bangladesh as well. 8,000 Indians are in Bangladesh and their security will be topmost concern for New Delhi. All right. Well, Sidhan, thank you so much for bringing us the latest on this. We'll, of course, continue to track the situation closely. Thank you so much for bringing us these updates for now. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.